Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to school. We have math first thing in the morning on Mondays, and I have both A and B group and all math homerooms. So, um, Miss Berrigan's class, you will be having math with me sometimes. Sometimes you may meet with Miss Berrigan, but um, I'll get to see you guys for a little bit on Monday. So, your math assignments will be in OnCourse, assigned through OnCourse, and it will be in your math tab. So just look for that on your classroom. I'm going to show you an example or a sample assignment. You will have directions at the top and then something attached. So it's really important that you read the directions because it includes things such as what page number we want you to show your work on in your math notebook. Um, and sometimes information about a Zoom call to review that work. So direction reading is extremely important. So as you notice, there's page one in my notebook and I know to put my work there. Here's a worksheet attached. Sometimes it'll be your book pages um, that you have a hard copy of in school, but since you don't bring your book home, it'll be online. And I'm just gonna get rid of this real quick. And there's a toolbar on the left-hand side, and there's lots of tools, and we can expand that so I could see the labels on everything. Lots of tools, text-to-speech, I can highlight things, I can do underlining, that's really good for reading text or getting rid of too much information. I can leave comments. Comments are great if you have a question. Um, your teacher will see these when... Um, she grades your worksheets. Now I'm trying to leave a text, but notice I'm not clicking on the worksheet. That's why it's not appearing. So you'll see me click on the worksheet and then the comment box will pop up. So I can click what question I'm on and that'll help your teacher figure out where this comment belongs. You can also type in what number you need help with. Um, but just saying like, I don't understand this and then submitting this blank will not count. Um, you need to explain what number you're, you're on, what you're thinking, what you know, and then what your question is. So be very precise and descriptive in these comments so that we can help you. Because just saying, I don't get it, is not helpful for us to help you. Um, you can enter a text box. So you would just click on the screen to enter a text box. You can edit the font. You can... Um, there we go. <laughs> and then you can make it larger, you bold, you can fill in the text box. So there's lots of options here. Um, and then to delete it, there's a red X in the left-hand corner. Equations we're going to use, this is how we insert math symbols. So in this document, I need to add the greater than, less than, or equal to sign. So I'm going to click on where I want to enter it and then enter. And then I can also edit this by clicking on it. I have to click that symbol there to move it and then I can change the font of that math symbol. I can fill that box, make it bigger, and I can also rotate it. So that's pretty nice for the greater than lesson sign because I can just rotate it around if I need. Lots of other features. Um, a lot of the math symbols um, we won't use, but there are a few that are helpful in there. Notice it's already saved. It saves as you go. You can undo. We can make it larger and we can zoom out. You can print it. You could download it. Uh, we won't need to, but in case you wanted that feature. Um, I just want to point out that if I exit this, anything I did to the document will save. So notice I highlighted the directions in the beginning. If I close and then re-enter, it should still be highlighted. And there it is. Perfect. So I'm going to close that. And then at the bottom, you got to make sure you hit turn in. So if I scroll down a little bit more, you're going to turn it in. Now to show my work, I would do that on paper. And we're doing it in our math notebook so that the teacher, when you come back to school, can look at your thinking and make sure you're doing it um, correctly. So you're submitting answers on your worksheet online, but you are doing your work on a piece of paper. All right, so I'm just giving you an example. I have my heading on the top, and your heading is just the name of the worksheet or the page or the assignment. 
whatever's listed on on course and the date and then I use that red margin as a divider I put the number of the question on the left and then the question itself and all my work on the right I'm making a mistake here <laughs> so I'm gonna erase that um, and I also erased it because I don't want to use the whole paper I want to stop about halfway that way I can use the right side of the paper to add more numbers and questions and I'm going to demonstrate that in a second so I'm rewriting the correct answer here notice I'm not writing on the other side of that red margin just on the right hand side the only thing that goes on the left is the numbers I'm going to skip a line and then do my next question so that's how we want you to organize your work I'm going to fold my paper in half now and what that does is kind of make another margin for me. So I'm going to treat that fold mark as a margin. And let's say I ran out of room on the left hand side. I'm going to come back up to the top and finish my work. So now I can do, let's say, question number 10. And on the other side of that fold, do my next question. It's really important that you guys show your work so that your teacher can help you. Um, and I think that is it. I will Zoom with you guys later, and I hope you have a great day.